Hi, it's Rashida. Today I am going to show you my, um, I think this is my week 18 of my project life. I'm going to first show you some items that I pulled together to complete it and then um, we'll see where I go from there. So I'm going to use the Kaiser Craft page protector that I recently purchased from Joanne.com and this has six four by sixes as you can see and what I've already done is place my photos in and I went through my stash of uh, four by six cards that I cut up myself from various pattern papers so I got that all squared away and then I'll show you some of the items that I just put together and this will keep me from having to go find stuff so this is just a tray from Ikea it has different compartments in it I take everything out and see so you can see all the different compartments or maybe so there's like three compartments going this way and then you have a compartment this way and then a large compartment here so so I just pulled some stickers I haven't used these I got these from a malicious and they're just little stickers about you know food and little geotags and things like that and I pulled some washi tapes, some inks. I really like the size of these because I can easily ink up my stamps with these relatively quickly without having to have a whole entire ink pad out. Some Ellie Studio stamps. These are my smaller ones and I just keep in this Avery L uh, plastic bag. So. And uh, this stamp, I think Marissa sent me this, this Heidi Swap stamp. So I want to try to at least use one phrase out of here. And I think she sent me these stickers too. I like the label stickers. So um, I like all of them, but I mainly pull them for the label stickers. So I'm going to use those. And I try to keep these out on hand. These are crepe paper accent stickers. So I just have them all on a binder clip and I can just easily flip through and find whichever one that I want to use. And then um, just some other stickers uh, from Pink Paisley. I think these came in a kit. I think they came in a Gossamer Blue kit. Um, some more labels. Some other little sticker charms by KI Memories. They're kind of a resin sticker. Some wood embellishments, some wood veneers by Ellie Studio. And I want to try to use the Technique Tuesday stamps that I recently got uh, in a haul. And also this stamp set. I just got that in the haul as well. Maybe I can use the Adventure or one of the smaller stamps in the stamp set. And then the Me and My Big Ideas label stickers. So, I just like to have a variety of stuff to choose from <laughs> so that I don't have to keep going in my stash. And it really helps to get the whole process done. So, we shall see where I go from here. Thank you for watching. Okay, so I am going to start with this title card and this is a little different for me in that I usually don't use a photo on my title cards, but because I had to work with four, um, well, four by sixes, six four by six slots, and I wanted to make sure I had enough room, you know, to put the rest of my photos without taking up space for just a single title card. I hope I explained that right. So um, I'm 
using my Technic Tuesday stamps that I recently got in a haul and I used that Hero Arts ink cube and I think that is the only time that I'm going to use that ink cube in this layout. I end up using some other inks because I ended up stamping on some of my photos so yeah and um, see I normally do title cards you know it's one of those things that I like to do not everybody does title cards and lately I've been using 3x4s as my title cards as well but for this case, since I only have 4x6s to work with, um, obviously this is going to be a 4x6 title card. So I really like this washi tape. I love the green. Um, this really came into play in how I wanted my layout to look with you know bright colors and lots of embellishments. So I was going to use a wood veneer out of here, but I don't end up doing that. I was going to use the right here, but I could not find a place for it, you know, that looked right to me in order for it, you know, to work. So I ended up going with these little resin embellishments with the little smiley face. And um, I needed a label sticker so that I could put the date of my week for my week 18 and so I put this label sticker down and I ended up adding more washi tape to that label so I ended up having to add another label sticker anyway so that I could put the date on so I'm using these cute puppy stickers from Pink Paisley and I just love the bright colors of the hearts so they are really cute and I'm using this camera washi tape and I love the colors in that so this is going to be a one page layout and I'm finding that doing one pages um, one page layout it really helps me um, stay on track and to keep up with my weeks so that may be helpful to someone else as well. I I don't feel like I need to take a photo every day, so I may not have, you know, a full week spread, but that's okay because I can just use a single page protector or whatever design page protector that will fit in with the number of photos that I do have. So I was gonna use those puppy stickers with said I think one said laugh and the other said today but I decided against it so I ended up going with that big camera sticker so um, so yeah I just kind of piled on the embellishments which is fine for me because I did want kind of a um, color heavy embellishment heavy page since it was only one page so I lost some of my footage here I apologize for that I think maybe I did not turn my camera back on so this is what the spread is looking like now and pretty much I'm done I'm just going back and doing some stamping with some dates and I'm gonna add some journaling so I did add you know a few stickers here and there on um, my cards um, there I was just showing you that I put the date on the back of that 4x6 card because I wanted to remember what the date was. So that's something that I do so that I don't forget. And when I do, I end up going back to my phone anyway to see what the date is and then I write it on the back of the 4x6 card. So yeah, uh, I think I'm yeah getting my journaling pen. So, I go back and forth between two different types of pens so right now I'm really into using my smash pen and I will use that pen if I'm writing on just regular surfaces um, like cardstock stickers non glossy surfaces <clears throat> so for this sticker that says yum it's you know a regular surface it's not slick or glossy or anything like that so I'm using the smash pen. On this label sticker that I'm writing on now, it is a crepe paper 
label sticker and it has a slick surface so I'm using my Zig photo signature pen which is meant for slick surfaces so that's something to keep in mind um, depending on what surface you're writing on and um, you know the type of pen that you want to use and here I'm just journaling about this little um, it's called an elf and I, had, I was walking one day and I saw this it's it's supposed to be environmentally environmentally friendly and it's uh, it's kind of like a, a bicycle like you have to pedal it but it has this area where two people can sit on the inside I think it's meant for two so <laughs> it's really cute so I just wanted to document that I saw one of those and here I'm just journaling about uh, my calyx or calyx however you pronounce it that I got from Ikea and I'm just journaling about how um, it's nice to be organized and how easy it was to put together and that sticker that says happiness is this that is a Mombi clear sticker that you can get from Michaels and it's just like a photo overlay and that's just a heart flare button I think that is from paper candies from Etsy and so that's pretty much it um, so yeah again I apologize for the loss of footage but this is how my layout turned out so thank you for watching and I think I'm gonna show it to you one more time yeah have a good day